Hello everyone, I am the Lore Explorer and this is Outer Wilds Modded and today I want to show off a mod that has a lot of potential. But before that, I want to live out a dream that every single person who has visited Dark Bramble has had. But first, we have to do something important. Feldspar, can you come with us for a minute? Yeah, just come on, get on the ship. I just got the ability to shoot meteors out of my eyes and you're going to want to get out of here for that. After I drop you off, I got a date with a seed on Timber Hurt. This is for trapping Feldspar and unleashing anglerfish on me. And this is for your stupid, dumb, ugly face and dangly do. And I think I successfully just killed an anglerfish. Anyway, what today's video is really about is an actual new story mod for Outer Wilds where someone has went in, modded the planets a little bit, added some things, you know, messed around with some things, and they added lore. They actually added some new lore. Of course, it's not lore to the game, it's not sanctioned canon, but interesting nonetheless and it's fun to look at it's really cool stuff i really appreciate the idea and effort put into this you can tell they put a lot of effort into this and i think it does have a lot of potential i think there's a maybe some bugs here and there i don't know but that's to be expected and we'll talk about that in a minute i tried to visit a few of the alien spacey ships but what's really cool is they added story and it's something for you to go play that's new in the Outer Wilds universe. Now the problems I had is trying to land at some of these spaceships. Uh, the one between the Hourglass Twins, it kept trying to pull me both ways and I couldn't access the computer. And the one above the Stranger was also impossible for me to access because gravity was tugging me different ways too. Now I'm not sure if that's intended or if that's kind of a glitch going on. I don't really know, but I did launch it and I'm very impressed by everything I see. There's a lot of things. There's asteroids, there's refineries with like lava coming up, like uh, like you'd see between Ash Twin and Ember Twin with the sand except it's lava. And there's one at the sun. There's a lot going on in this mod and I think it's really cool. I don't really know what these glass things are. I remember like from Futurama or something, they did something similar where they protected their planet with those glass things. But there's some holes in Giant's Deep and the Stranger's glass domes, and you can go in and enter it in Giant's Deep. I, again, I don't know if this is a glitch or what's going on here, but this is just really cool to see. It almost looks like the simulation, right? I mean, I, I couldn't help but like stop and get different angles of the ship, and the, just islands look weird. Everything looks so weird and interesting, and I really do appreciate that. At, you guys know me. I'll literally search through glitches and you know try to make glitches through mods to try to get cool sights in the game and this one I think is pretty cool but as I said it's not all about cool sights there is a story to this mod and you can play it yourself all you have to do is go to outerwildsmods.com on PC and download the Outer Wilds mod manager I really don't think this channel would be half of what it is if I didn't have mods to be able to showcase the game in a better light without the HUD and I'm able to change things up with brightness and I can fly forever and there's no time limit. I honestly truly think they deserve the attention and appreciation of the community. So if you have the ability, go ahead and download the mod manager and get into some mods. But that's just about all I have for you today. Thanks everyone for watching. And as always, a special shout out to the members here on the channel. And as usual, this is the Lore Explorer, which is very excited about the potential of these mods.